In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the gallery menu. And as you can see here, the gallery menu shows you a beautiful gallery of different images that you can add. Now, once again, you can change these images to your own. Uh, so when you click on this one here, it loads up and it shows you at the very bottom here how many images you have in this gallery. Now, this is a great way. Maybe you're a photographer, you know, and you want to showcase stuff for your wedding. Or maybe you have a restaurant like you see here and you want to show the different types of food that you make at your restaurant. This is a great way to do it. You can click on this arrow to go to the next image. Or you can also click on this X if you want. If you're completely done with it, you click the X. You can click the arrow to the back arrow and the uh, front arrow so that both of them takes you to the next image. So let's X this out. So how do you change this? Well, let's go back here to the menu system again. Let's go to gallery. And I'm going to go to extensions. I'm sorry, components and then SP ease image gallery. Now that is what this particular menu item is connected to. So when you go back here, you go to select and you can connect the SP. Let's do that. Let's do this now. So you go to SP easy image gallery, click X. You can choose the album that you want to connect to. So if you have multiple albums you want, you can choose the specific one for the specific menu. So you can put all your images in one particular one and then output them here. And let's go to the gallery option. So it gives you how many columns do you want? So right now it's three. Let's put it to four. It's going to change to four. And let's go back. You have three. So we're going to save this and see what that looks like. So now we went from three three columns here to four. So you can break this down. Maybe you want to just go six columns or, or four columns. That's that pretty much is up to you to do. So it gives that option right here. And let's go back and we're just going to keep it at three. And you can also do you want to show the title for the pop up? Do you want to show a description? Do you want to show the image count? So what that means is if you click one of these here, it shows you the title. It shows you the description and it shows you the, you know, the number, the image count. So if you don't want that, you just disable these. And it's when people click on it, they won't see anything at the bottom, but just the image. So that's the personal preference, you know, stuff there. So let's click save and close. And let's go back now to the SP uh, image gallery. So this is where this is an album. So you can create a category once again. You can have the options to, you know, modify permissions. You can choose the image, the thumbnail width. So we have this album right now. Uh, let's just click on this one or you can create a new one. But since they have one here, let's take a look at it. And before we do, it shows you the, the status and when it was created. So let's click on the album. You can add as many images as you need to. That's one of the beauties about this thing. Uh, for the category, there's nothing there yet, and that is okay. For the feature and image, you can choose which image is featured. You can also edit or delete an image. When you click to edit, you have the option to change the you know the title and the alt and put a description if you need to. So as you can see, it's very simple. So you go over to the description. You can add a little more description. Now this description is for the album description. So if you want to put a little something that you can, you can upload more images if you have. So this is a great way for you to showcase your image and that is how you can be able to alter and make changes to the gallery. Uh, next, let's take a look at the about us menu.